Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. I've been busy. I've canned chicken. I've made two loaves of crusty bread. I've made broccoli and cheese soup. And those videos, well, not the crusty bread, but the broccoli and cheese soup is coming up probably the end of this week. But today we have our cozy coffee. Now I made this video before our chicken stew and I know it is a repeat video, but I have a lot of new subscribers and it is such a worthy video, such a worthy recipe of being on repeat yearly. So with that being said, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I would love for you to subscribe, hit that bell notification and give me a thumbs up. And if you're back, welcome back. You know how much I love and appreciate you all. So let's go on and get started with making this cozy coffee. This is a drink you need in your life during the winter time. It is not healthy per se. It is a indulgence, but on those cold nights when you've got a fire in the fireplace or your gas logs are on, or when it's just cold outside and you need something to warm you up, something indulgent, this is it. And it's so easy. You keep it in a canister. You have it at your beck and call. And don't forget to add that sweet liquid cream and the whipped cream on top. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make the mix and I'm going to show you how to make the actual cup of coffee. So cozy coffee. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm Leslie and I am thrilled that you are here with me down on the farm. Today we're going to make a delicious, cozy drink. I've made it on this channel humpteen times and there's no time like the present than to make it again. So stay tuned. We're making cozy coffee. If you're one of my longtime viewers, you know that every year around the chicken stew time, I make my cozy coffee and I make a large enough batch that it lasts us pretty much all year. So we're going to go ahead and make that. I have my cozy coffee container that, um, I didn't even wash it. It just still has the dust from from the old, the the former batch of cozy coffee, and so we are going to make another batch. Not only are we going to make another batch, but I'm going to show you how to fix it once you're ready to drink it. So this is a dry mix, super easy and super delicious. So let's talk about the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of uh, powdered creamer, non-dairy um, er, creamer, and so I just get the Great Value brand. You're going to need some hot chocolate mix. I just grabbed the Swiss Miss, some form of instant coffee, sugar, and a touch of cinnamon. This is what just elevates this drink. And I promise you, it is so good. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the creamer. And I'm, one batch is a cup and a half. So that's a half. A whole. And a half. Oh, no, sorry. There's two cups of the creamer. Sorry. Two cups of the creamer. I'm getting ahead of myself. Two cups of the creamer. 
Let's go to the hot chocolate mix now. And that is a cup and a half. So a half. A whole. And a half. Same thing with the coffee. This recipe is so easy. Um, most everything is a cup and a half except for the creamer and the cinnamon. So, cup and a half of the instant coffee. Half. Whole. Half. Now, let me just wipe this out because I don't want to get coffee in my sugar container. I should have started with my sugar. All right. And a cup and a half of sugar. Now, let me tell you, there is nothing low sugar, low anything about this recipe. Could you make it that way? Sure, you could use a sugar substitute and if you could find the hot chocolate that doesn't have sugar in it, then, you know, that's sweetened some other way, then you could definitely make it that way. All right, cup and a half of sugar. Now let me grab All my measuring spoons are dirty, but it calls for a teaspoon, and all I have is a quarter, so we're going to count four of them, and I always put a little extra cinnamon. I think it, um, Now, I would normally think, ugh, cinnamon and chocolate, and let me tell you, it does something amazing to this, absolutely amazing. So, you just stir this up the best way you can. Sometimes, I just take the bowl and shake it, put the lid on the bowl and shake it. All right, guys, since this is for our chicken stew, I'm actually going to... To make another batch. I just wanted to make that one for you guys, but stay tuned. I'm going to bring you back and show you how to fix a delicious cup of cozy coffee. Okay, everybody, here is a new batch of cozy coffee, two batches of cozy coffee, and ready for the chicken stew, but better yet, it's ready for my family it is ready for me and Bryant tonight. Bryant and I are going to the local high school football game tonight. Our church is doing concessions, and I know I will be frigid, frigid. So, there's no better way to warm up when we get home to snuggle up on the couch with a cup of cozy coffee. So, when we get home, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a delicious cup of cozy coffee. So, see you when we get back. Hey everyone, it's the next morning. Bryant and I came in last night, and this rarely, rarely happens because usually we like to chill out and wind down when we get home. And I, we both <laughs> were just like, I'm going straight to bed. So, we went straight to bed. So, I'm going to show you this morning how to make a delicious, delicious cup of cozy coffee. I'm gonna turn my uh, kettle on over here. If you don't have that, warm you some water on the stove top, do it in the microwave, tons of ways to do it. So, um, my son's pulling up, so he's gonna to get to get some cozy coffee. Um, let me show you, I have this scoop, and this is what I use, and you can see it's, <laughs> it has cozy coffee all over it. I wasn't sure what size this is. It doesn't say. So I measured it out this morning and this is a two tablespoon scoop and I use a healthy three of these. So that's six to seven tablespoons of the mix per cup. So let me grab everything out of the refrigerator I need and I'll meet you back right here and we'll wait for that to boil. What you're going to need is a big 
healthy big mug. You want a big mug because you're going to want a big cup of this. You're also going to want your favorite. This is the empty bottle. I'll have to get mine over there. Um, your favorite creamer, liquid creamer, and some whipped cream. Now you can garnish the top with some shaved chocolate or a sprinkle of cinnamon, whatever you want to sprinkle on the top, but I can't usually wait to sprinkle it on top. I'm usually just... So, all right, let's fix this cup of cozy coffee. All right, so like I said, you want a good six to seven um, tablespoons. And you can adjust this. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with actually, let's see, that's two, four. Let's go with, I forgot how many I use. <laughs> we'll decide in just a second. Um, yeah, that looks right. Maybe that's about four big heaping tablespoons. That looks right. All right, and my water is pretty close to boiling. Okay. Okay, guys, well, I thought Isaac was here for the cozy coffee, but it's Caroline instead. There she is. Y'all, we look like a hot mess because we're working hard today. Today is the um, chicken stew. So, all right, so you want to fill this up with good hot water. Don't fill it all the way. That's key. You don't want to fill it all the way because you got to leave room for that good old creamer and whipped cream. And you can use this. She uses a sweet creamer, but I've also used different type. And it's you, just any good. flavor, your favorite flavor, like a cinnamon roll bun, would be mm -hmm. delicious because this already has a hint of or cinnamon caramel, in it. Even. Caramel would be delicious. Oreos delicious. I've had Oreo in here, um, so good. All right, so now you want to hit it good with some good creamer. And look, I'm using a spoon. It will settle in the bottom. That's it. It just will. That's, That's the part of it. In it. Um, so if you have a spoon, works great. This is actually the first time I'm doing this. But if you have a milk frother, that's a pretty good way to get it um, stirred up. And now what you want to do, because you still have a little bit of room, that's part. <laughs> not really. Whipped cream's not that bad for you, actually. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give it a taste, and then I'm going to give it to Caroline. And you will get the whipped cream. Oh, my goodness. That's mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> Christmas in a cup. Here. I'll set it down. That is so good, y'all. Mm. Nothing better, right? Oh, it's... It's Christmas time. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas when we have cozy coffee. Actually, it's chicken stew when we have cozy coffee, and then for the season we, we have, have it for the rest until cozy coffee till February. All right, guys, we're gonna take a picture for my thumbnail, and um, I don't want to give it up. Well, you're gonna hold it. You're not gonna give it up. You're gonna hold it. And we're gonna smile. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Y'all got to make this so easy but so delicious. You'll wow all your friends. This would make good, put it in some mason jars and it would make good Christmas gifts. Great gifts. Now they won't, if you put it in one of them little jelly jars, they might not get two, but, <laughs> and anyway. Well, the big, the, 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 like the apple butter jars. Four, in this big mug, four heaping tablespoons was perfect. Um, so it just depends, I got whipped cream on my finger. It just depends on what size mug you use. So just play around with it. And add, add it, add more if you need it. So, y'all, that is so good. So good. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can burn anything. <laughs> Bye, y'all.